welcome back to my channel. So for today, it's gonna be the first segment of Tea Time with Fab. So basically what this is, is I'm just gonna try to do it once a month. I'm just gonna take a few minutes, have some tea with you guys, let you guys know which tea I'm liking, and I'm also gonna be talking about a topic of your choice. So this time for this episode, my good friend Sam recommended my summer essentials. So this couldn't be better timing because I just got back from a weekend at the beach. So I actually just took a lot of things out of my luggage that I was like, if I brought it with me, it's because it is essential. So I'm really excited to share these with you guys and to see what you guys think. Okay, so the tea that I'm drinking today is coconut oolong tea from the Spice and Tea Exchange. Now, I got this one from their location in Winter Park, but I do know that they now have a location in Disney Springs. I really like it. It has caffeine, but it's kind of like a light caffeine. It's a really good afternoon tea, and plus it's coconut, so it's really good for during the summer because it kind of gives you that like oceany, tropical vibe. So I have 13 products to talk about, and sorry guys, I keep scratching my nose, but it's because I have cat hairs like stuck to my face. <laughs> so I have 13 products, but for like at least two of them, they're actually kind of like one category, and it's just like different versions of that kind of product. And then two of them are DIYs. So I'm going to start out with the DIYs, and then I'll jump into the store-bought ones. So my first one you guys should recognize because I did just do a video about this. That's my last video. It is my DIY body scrub. Um, I pretty much use this at least once a week. This is a fresh batch now. The one that I made for the video I just ran out of. So I really love this body scrub because as I, as I talk about in the video, it's just very smoothing for your skin. But it's also because it smells so good. Oh god. Oh, it's so heavenly. It smells like fresh coffee and like orange peel and just like tropical awakeness, if that kind of makes sense. But this is definitely on the list because you just, you need to keep exfoliating your body during the summer. A lot of people think that dry skin is only a winter thing, but it's not. It's dry and dead skin cells. And you really just want to glow during the summer, but you're not going to glow unless you exfoliate because you have to get rid of all those dead skin cells first. That's what's making your skin look dull and then you can glow. So number one on the list is definitely my body scrub. So my second item is a little TMI, it's a little personal, but it's spray deodorant. So if it's a long day, it's just really hot outside, say you were at the beach or at Disney all day or something, you're just starting to get a little bit stinky, this is just really good to refresh with. This is something I carry in my purse. I just took it to the beach this past weekend. I would use it sometimes during the day because we were just on the beach the entire day and it's just a really nice refresher. This is a recipe I'm really liking. It's one I found on Pinterest. It has lemon essential oil, lavender, and tea tree. And then it's mixed with half apple cider vinegar and half distilled water, which is just basically like boiled water that's cooled down, but you've boiled out all the bad stuff in it, so it's nice and purified. And so I just keep it in this cute little spray bottle that I got on Amazon and I just throw it in my purse and I just spray it whenever I need it. I definitely feel like it freshens me up. I'm trying to see still if I can like customize the scents because I don't really like the smell of tea tree that much. So I want to, and actually you don't smell like vinegar because I know a lot of people are like, oh gosh, it has vinegar. I'm going to smell like vinegar, but you don't. You smell it for probably the first 30 seconds, but all of that evaporates. And the vinegar is actually a lot of what's going to kill the bacteria of what's making any odors. So this is definitely on my summer essentials list as well. The first thing, of course, for summer is going to be SPF. This is the Super Goop Sunscreen Mousse SPF 50. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. I could put it in my luggage and it's cool because it does come out like a mousse and then you just rub it in like you would any other sunscreen. I like it because it felt very light. I had it on my face especially and it just felt really, really good. It absorbed really fast, which was nice. 
So again, just make sure that you're using SPF. It could be this one, which is really good, or it could be any SPF. Just make sure you're using SPF. The next item on my list is the e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. Um, like I said earlier with the other exfoliator, you really want to have nice dewy skin during the summer. That's kind of what summer skin is all about, but you're not going to have that if you don't exfoliate. I really like this one too because it's very gentle on the skin. So especially if you've been out in the sun and like maybe you got a sunburn or your skin is just a little more sensitive than usual, then this one is perfect for you. It works really, really fast. It's basically a chemical exfoliator instead of a physical exfoliator. But I love this one. This I really think is going to be such a ride or die product for me. I'm still in my first bottle because it lasts forever. You only need like two pumps for all your skin. But I love it. This is definitely something I'll always repurchase and I recommend to everyone. The next product is from Mario Badescu. It's one of their facial sprays. It has, This one in particular has aloe cucumber and green tea now the reason i got this one um and i'm mentioning this one because as we all know they have like tons of facial sprays but i really like this one because it has all the things that are soothing for while you're out in the sun aloe is as we know incredibly soothing especially if you're like a little sunburn cucumber is very cooling and green tea is also very soothing actually before i bought this i used to just make a pot of green tea of course i would be talking about this on tea time with fav but i used to just make a pot of green tea i would put it in a spray bottle and i would keep it in the fridge overnight before i went to the beach so then the next day i would either throw it in the cooler or in my bag and it would be so nice and cold and refreshing and it's so soothing so i love this we were using this all weekend my mom and my sister used it too because it's just it's so 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 good for the summer this one's my favorite for sure and especially for like during the day even when i'm not out in the sun after i'm done applying all my skincare i make sure to like spray my face just a little bit to have that soothing effect and that nice like um freshness the next thing i really really love <laughs> is shaving cream so you have to have that smooth skin you know gotta be hairless but you need a good shaving cream i've tried so many out there honestly and this one is my favorite it's from trader joe's it's their moisturizing cream shave it's for men and women and this is in the scent honey mango and it has aloe vera and vitamin e it's paraben free and 100 percent vegetarian which is really cool because they're cruelty free but um i love this this is honestly like my fourth or fifth bottle of this oh, and it just smells so good it smells so like fruity and like yummy but i love it my husband loves it he uses it to shave his face twice a week and honestly we like haven't switched to anything else this stuff is the bomb i you only need like a little bit a little bit goes a long way i always take it with me when i travel i don't like to use any other shaving cream and i just i highly recommend it it's so affordable on top of everything because it's from trader joe's it's from their brand and i know a couple friends that have gotten it and love it so guys this is a must-have if you do any type of shaving this is a must-have so this next product's a little random <laughs> basically if you don't shave and you wax this is something that you're gonna love i do a little bit of both because i like to shave my legs and my underarms but i do wax my face and i do wax my bikini line and this is what i use for that i have the satin smooth the regular wax too and i kind of go back and forth but this one's like slowly turning into my favorite just because you don't need strips it's very easy to use and basically it's just a form of hard wax and what that means is you're going to apply the wax and instead of having to apply um, the muslin cloth or a strip or anything like that you just wait for the wax to harden and you just yank it off like that it's supposed to be a little more pain free that i can't particularly attest to because to me it's kind of very similar 
but um, I could see how it could be a little more painless. This one is the Citrus Mojito. It's good for medium to coarse hair. I got this one recently at the, what's it called? Premier Orlando show. I basically just talked to her and I was like, I want a wax that I can use for my bikini line, but that if I can, you know, if I have to use it on my face, I can. And she said, definitely this one. So I got this, I've used it a few times. I love it. And I got it in this jumbo box. You don't have to get this jumbo box, but I got it because I mean, it'll last me forever and I love it. So definitely recommend this too. If you're more into waxing than you are shaving. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to mention are body oils. I love body oils. Basically, if you want your skin to really, really glow, you need body oils. So I have three here. They're kind of like my three current favorites. Um, this is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's from The Body Shop. It's Honey Bronze Shimmering Dry Oil. So that's the one I'm wearing right now on my chest. As you can tell, I'm very dewy. I love it. So I like this one because it does have that like little bit of bronzer in it. So I feel like it does kind of bring out the tan that I got this weekend. And then I have these two as well. They're from Farmhouse Fresh. And by the way, these three uh, body oils are all cruelty free. So just so you know, because I know a lot of you guys care about that. But these are from Farmhouse Fresh. This one is Agave Nectar. I have talked about this one in a video before. And then this one I got recently at the show as well. I got it in Honey Magnolia. It just, it smells so good. I actually like this scent more for summer than this one. Um, just because I feel like it is a little more, since it's magnolia, it's more floral, it's more fresh. But this one is really good as well. And I did mention it in the other video, but this is the oil that Kim Kardashian sometimes uses to get like that nice glow. And as we know, she is always glowing and popping. So try these out. They're really incredible. Honestly, I haven't met anyone that has tried it that hasn't liked it. So I really love these. And then this one's really nice as well, especially if you don't want to have to order something online, you could just go into the store. This one is really good as well. So my next two products are body butters. These are from the body shop as well. It's the 24 hour intense moisture for dry skin with cold pressed strawberry seed oil. This is a strawberry one. And then this one is with seed oil from handpicked Moringa. So they're both really, really good. I like the strawberry one more for kind of like the daytime. It's just, it smells like strawberry ice cream. Like it just smells like really, really fresh, like strawberries, like so good. I just, I mean, look how thick that is. Like I'm holding it like this and it hasn't even moved. This stuff is thick. It will give you serious, serious hydration. And then this one, the Moringa one. Oh. I really, really love this one too. This one is, as you can tell, just as thick. It's very floral. I kind of like this one more for like at night. It reminds me of like a warm jasmine kind of scent. Like if you were to mix jasmine with gardenia, I think that's kind of the scent that you would get here, but more of like a warmer note. So this one I love for summer days, and this one I love for summer nights. But if you're looking for that really, really nice like hydration, all day hydration, these are like bomb.com. What would honestly be amazing is to put this on your legs and then put the body oil, your skin would glow. Like people would see you from like a mile away because of the amount of glow. Okay, so as you can see on my hand, this is the body butter by itself. As you can tell, it's like still like very glowy, very dewy. And then this is the body butter with the body oil on top. I've used the agave one from Farmhouse Fresh, but as you can tell, that is intense. So obviously that's not something you can wear like every day, but if you have like a really bomb like date night coming up and you just want to glow like the sun, that is like so bomb. It's honestly glowing skin is one of the biggest ways to just look so alluring and so sexy. So this again is the body butter by itself, still very beautiful, still very glowy. And then this is the body butter with the body oil on top. All these smells, by the way, are just so summery and so like fresh. I'm like, I feel like I'm being taken to like a tropical island right now, just from all the scents. 
This one is another body cream. This one is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, the reason I put this in here with the other body butters is because I do still really, really love this one. Oh God, it has a very, it has a very like sweet scent, like warm and sweet. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, um, I just, you know what it reminds me of? I had some on my lip. It reminds me of like brown sugar. Like if you were to mix like, honey brown sugar and like i don't know cocoa maybe that's kind of like what this would smell like it's just very warm as you can tell it's like very thick as well i wanted to give you guys the option of this one and the body shop one because to me they are both incredibly hydrating but this one is kind of like double the price of this one so if you're willing to spend it this one is definitely like so 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 delicious but if you're like me and you know you, you got a budget too you know this one's a really amazing option and unlike this one unfortunately i love this one the body shop does always have like all these sales going on like right before i filmed this i was getting emails of sales from them so these are both really incredible like thick body cream want to glow want to have great healthy skin creams you guys know my secret now the secret to glowing skin thick body butter <laughs> okay so we have three products left these are going to be the cosmetic products all the ones that i've mentioned so far are like for skincare but it's because during the summer you really just want to focus on your skin cosmetics is kind of like second place and during the summer because it's so hot you really don't want to wear like a full face of makeup every day but you do want to have really nice soft and just glowing skin. The first one is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion in Contour. Now this is one that they had actually sent to me. It comes with this cute little spot. This is the shade. It's kind of like a brownie shade. It's actually what I have on right now. So although it looks kind of dark, it's not as dark as you think. Mine's drying out. But um, this is, like I said, this is one I had gotten. I didn't think I would love it. So you got like that nice like bronzy shade. It's a very natural bronze. But um, I didn't think I would like it. Like I was saying, I was just not really into it. And honestly, it sat in my stuff for like a year. But about two months ago, I grabbed it. I'm obsessed. Like I will continue to buy this. This product is so bomb. I recommend it to everyone. It's wet and wild, so it's cruelty free and it's crazy affordable. It has the little sponge, little compact. As long as you just keep that sponge clean and like clean it every once in a while, you don't have to worry about breakouts. It gives you like such a gorgeous, like natural bronze. And today I am wearing blush and highlight, but honestly, usually I only wear concealer and this on my skin. That is it. Like that is all I will wear because it's so natural. It just gives you such a gorgeous bronze and it kind of gives you like a natural glow. So I really, really love this. Um, unfortunately, it's not something that I think would be that great on darker skin tones just because it's not in that dark of a shade. But if you do have light to medium skin tone or, you know, like tan, like me and stuff, you'll love this. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. I honestly cannot stop singing praises for this thing. Okay, so my next product is the last one from the body shop. It's the Honey Bronze Drops of Sun Holiday Glow Creator. It's really cool. It's kind of like this thick, liquidy kind of consistency. And I love it. Don't be intimidated by the very dark color because it does really sheer out. And as you can see, it's just kind of like this nice bronzy shade. What I like about this one is the same as the Wet n Wild one. It's honestly just that it like gives me such a natural, gorgeous, like tan glow. They both look very natural. And honestly, I think the biggest reason why I like both of these is because they don't have shimmer. Do you hear me? They do not have shimmer. It is so hard to find bronzing products that say you will glow, you will have a glow, and they don't have shimmer. It's almost impossible. So these two do not have shimmer. They are both shimmer free. I repeat, shimmer free. You will have this gorgeous natural like tan glow. It'll look super, super natural. And the reason I actually like this one and sometimes I use it over the Wet n Wild one is that this one is a little bit darker. 
So I do like that because especially now that I'm a little bit darker from the beach, I'll probably end up using this one a little more. You can see kind of like the difference with my skin. Like the, it's like a tan. It's basically like I went and I got a tan. So I love this stuff. It's really good. The Wet n Wild one is really good too. Try both of them out. Try one. Let me know what you think. My last product is from the elf active line it's kind of like this new line that they came out for either when you're working out or just kind of out and about and it's the workout ready lip and cheek palette i don't use it for my lips i never use like cream stuff for my lips like this but i do use it on my cheeks i am wearing the blush and actually this is the highlight that i have on that as you can tell is like popping so they're all just cream products. They do have this like bronzy shade in the middle. I use it sometimes, I kind of go back and forth, but I have this palette mainly for the blushes and for the highlight. And I like it because it has a lighter blush and a darker blush. So one for like daytime and one for like more nighttime. But this is perfect, you can keep it in your purse. Uh, when I was actually in Paris and London for Riley and I's anniversary trip, all I was wearing was this a tiny like sheer concealer and mascara every single day that's like all i was wearing this product was like my best friend because it really just does give you that like perfect summer color and you get this really gorgeous natural highlight so those are the colors up close and then this is what they look like on the skin and obviously i put a very thick swatch but you can share them out. These two on the end are the ones that I'm wearing, kind of like the peachy blush shade and then the highlight. So I love them. Honestly, this product is so amazing. You can, I mean, if you wanted to, you could skip the two products I just mentioned, the one from the body shop and the one from Wet n Wild and just have this because it does have the bronzer shade. I still use those because I prefer those shades more, but if you get this one and you like it, then go for it. I mean, it has it, so why not use it? But I love this product. I think it was like $10 or something like that, and it's a thousand percent worth it. All right, guys, so my teacup is empty. Tea time is over, but um, it was 16 products, not 13. I'm really sorry, but when you love something, you love something. But I do really hope that you guys like this first segment of Tea Time with Fab. I'm really excited about doing this. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, just having a chance to kind of just sit here with a relaxing cup of tea and just talk to you guys. Now, this one was more about products and things like that, but not every episode or every segment, whatever guys, not everyone has to be that way. I can talk about whatever you guys want. I just want to take... Um, at least once a month to just talk to you guys just see what you guys are up to so leave in the comments down below maybe the next topic you guys want me to talk about so all right guys that is it i really hope you guys love this and i'll see you guys next time bye